Hey guys, today it's going to be a purely chatty video. There's not going to be any me doing my makeup today. If you do want to see that type of video, I did film a tutorial on this look. It is a foundationless, no foundation, turkey look <laughs> that you can do for the fall, the remaining of fall or Thanksgiving. I'll leave a link for it in the description box below if you are interested. I've stopped buying makeup like this whole entire year pretty much. Last year I was a, I think it's diamond, I was a diamond member on Ulta. I spent over a thousand dollars on makeup. To some people that really might not be a lot, especially some YouTubers, like this is their job and they spend easy three to five grand a month. And that was just Ulta, that wasn't from my trips to Sephora, to Walmart, to Target, that was just Ulta. I spent over a thousand dollars. That hurt my soul when I saw that. Like, cool, I'm a diamond member, but what does that mean? That just means I spent over a thousand bucks on makeup. But you gotta look from my standpoint. I don't get paid off of this. Like, I'm not at a point in YouTube where I get paid at all. I do this purely because I have fun with it. Like, I'm still so small on YouTube, I do not get paid off doing this. So any makeup or any new products I buy is coming from my own paycheck. This year, I haven't bought anything you guys it's almost December my Ulta amount I'm not gonna keep diamond I'm nowhere close to being a diamond this year on Ulta I've spent a little over two hundred dollars that's awesome for me like I feel really proud of myself because I don't I don't need more makeup it's definitely fun to get new products and play with them but I don't need them and I've been really I've been really conscious of that. In the beginning of the year, I did buy the Rivera palette by Anastasia. I did buy this. That was, I think, one of the like one of the biggest purchase purchases I made. I did buy some mascaras here and there too, just because I was running out, and some facial sprays. I go through my facial sprays like crazy, so that I think is a lot of the majority of the over two hundred dollars. The last thing I bought from Ulta was in September. They were moving locations, so they were having a big massive sale where it was like 90% off. So I got a liquid lip for 80 cents. <laughs> that was the last thing I bought. Because I buy mostly everything off Ulta. Like here and there, it might be Walmart or Sephora. But mostly everything is Ulta because they have the bomb points reward system. I haven't been buying any makeup. One, because I this year I was just kind of over it. Especially these past few months, like with Anastasia and ColourPop. Like... So many freaking launches. It really took the fun out of makeup for me. I wasn't interested in, in any makeup. Another reason is financially, <laughs> I can't do it. I can't do it. So I've been really setting my priorities. It sucks because I would love to use more products for you guys and newer products and first impressions and reviews. This year has just not been a good year financially. I moved from California to North Carolina. My paychecks now, compared to California, make me cry. <laughs> I definitely took my first job lifeguarding for granted. It was my first job, especially compared to now, my paychecks were amazing. I was making three times as much money when I was 17 than I am now. And when I think of that, it like, it makes me wanna cry because I feel like I'm going in a step like five steps backwards, but I'm just in, I'm just somewhere different in my life now. I'm, you know, I, I'm doing what I can right now. I am going to school to earn my vet tech license. I know eventually I'll be where I wanna be. It really, it, it just sucks. Compared to other young couples our age, we do not have that much debt. I do have one more student loan to pay off, some of our credit cards, and you know, we're saving for a fence in our backyard. Like these are, these are real goals that that's where my money has been going towards. I just wanted to give an explanation of why I have not bought any makeup, like any new products. I never did my skincare video because I wanted to buy this skincare product, but it's like $50. <laughs> and I just, I can't buy it. I can't, I can't do it. And so that's why I haven't even come out with a skincare video because my skincare right now I feel like is just so basic that you guys would be like what's the point of this video I know you guys ask for one but every time I even attempt to film it I'm like this is so stupid like they're just watching me take off my makeup wash my face put on a toner 
I wanted to try out new products and be like, ooh, look at this product and just things like that. And I just haven't been able to. So that's why I've stopped buying makeup. A lot of it I'm not interested anymore and just financially I can't do it and I you know I am growing up <laughs> and there's other things to life than makeup I love it it's gr it's a great side job I love the creative outlet it has for me like it's it's a therapeutic device for me I love makeup but there's so much more I need to worry about than makeup if that makes sense so that being said i do actually have an ongoing list though of products i want slash need to buy in the new year it's gonna be a little pricey but these are products that i've wanted for a while but i just feel so guilty spending money on them honestly but i think near the new year i'm going to do it <laughs> i'm gonna do it all in my birthday month which is january so it's like what two times or five times the points so i'm gonna do it in my birthday month so i earn more points it's a it cosmetics confidence in a gel lotion weightless moisturizer <laughs> it it is seriously weightless like i swatched it and put it on my hand oh my gosh i can't wait to snag that up that's the main like new product i want to buy um the rest is like i just need more of so those are my mario badescu sprays actually all of my facial sprays oh my gosh look at these like all of them are almost out i <laughs> i need new ones i go through them so fast i want to get totally all new lashes i am the worst with throwing away my lashes like i reuse them till i literally can't reuse them like they are either ripped <laughs> or they're just so crummy i have to throw them away i am i'm really bad with lashes i clean them though that's the difference i want to throw away all my lashes and get new ones and i know that's gonna be a little pricey especially like my house of lashes ones they're like 12 dollars a pair not velour status expensive but like $12 for lashes is kind of expensive. So I actually have been going on to Amazon and buying lashes off there. The most popular kind are called Christina's 43 and they're human hair. Look really natural on the eye surprisingly, even though they look pretty long. It came in like a six bundle like this. I think this was like eight to 12 bucks for a six bundle and that's really good. This light is kind of annoying, I'm sorry. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get on here and explain to you why you haven't really seen any first impressions or reviews by me, why you haven't seen me doing a skincare video, and why I just haven't bought makeup in general. So I wanted to explain that to you guys in a video. Life is testing me and it's hard, but it's going to be worth it. And I just have to keep reminding myself that it's going to be worth it and just to take one day at a time, a paycheck is better than no paycheck no matter how much it is. Honestly, count your blessings. It makes me feel a lot better whenever I do that. I'll get to where I want to be someday. Thanks guys for watching and understanding. I love you guys so much. I'll see you in my next video. Peace out.